Pastor Robert, this is my lovely wife, Elder Tracy Carr. And we're coming to you from zero gravity, ages 12 to 17. Amen. Amen. And today we're going to be talking about worldly music, how celebrities are mocking Jesus through subliminal messages to the teenagers. Amen. 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 And and one of the things he's talking about, we, we looked at this video and it was very disturbing. Um, and it had uh, just to name a few. It had on on a cross. It had Nas on a cross. The different videos P Diddy on a cross, Madonna on a cross, Tupac was on a cross. It was Lady Gaga dressed in a nun outfit with an upside down cross mm. on it. Um, SNL lap dancing to Jesus, mm. Katy Perry burning in flames with demons behind her, and uh, a cross on her chest. Megan a stallion pretending to be a demon. That's 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 just that's crazy. Amen. That's Amen. Crazy. And the thing about it is, see, <clears throat> Lucifer, uh, who is Satan, was. The music, the mu musician, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so now that he's been mm -hmm. cast out, mm -hmm. he's uh, sending subliminal messages through our music right. to entice youth and teenagers to dance and, and uh, 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 partake into that stuff mm -hmm. when there's witchcraft and all kind of different stuff mm -hmm. tied into that. Yes, and um, so what we're trying to uh, say is. Watch what you listen to, watch your ear gates, mm -hmm. and be careful because a lot of times the music and the beat sounds good and it grabs you, but you don't listen to the words and understand what they're talking about. And our scripture for the day is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. It says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Mm -hmm. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what that uh, passage of scripture is telling us that whatever you sow to your flesh, mm -hmm. that's what you're going to reap. Mm -hmm. So uh, you remember the scripture when... Uh, the, the Satan took Jesus up on the mountain and he said, uh, if you bow down to me, all of this has been given to me. I give it to whom I please. Mm -hmm. All of these people that uh, Elder Tracy named off has uh, bowed down to Satan and taken the wealth that they think that's going to help get them into into heaven, mm -hmm. and it's not. They sold they soul for fame and fortune. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And can I, I want to read that same scripture in the message. Mm, excuse me. In the message, it says, don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What mm. a person plants, he will harvest. Mm -hmm. The person who plants selfishness, ignoring the needs of others, ignoring God, harvests a crop of weeds. All he'll have to show for his life is weeds. Mm. But the one who plants in response to God, letting God's spirit do the growth work in him, harvests a crop of real life and eternal life. Wow. Amen. Amen. And I also just want to give a couple of um, definitions for that scripture as well. It says um, the word deceive. The word deceive in the original Greek means to stray to wander, to roam into error, to be led astray, or to deviate from the correct path or truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, believing something that's not true. Amen. 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 So don't don't be deceived. This 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 what they're showing in those subliminal messages that they're showing through music mm -hmm. and videos. This this is, don't believe that stuff. That's just to lure you in and to take over your soul. Amen. And to be mocked. The word mock means to turn up your nose or to be scornfully disdained. Disdained means the feeling that someone or something is unworthy of one's consideration or respect or contempt. Amen. So, so basically, the scripture is any anything that um, that anything obedient uh -huh. or 
you're going to reap the consequences, yeah, yes, basically. Yeah, yeah. And Pastor has been pushing uh, Matthew chapter 24 uh, this year mm -hmm. because this is the time that we're in. And Matthew chapter 24, verse 4, it also says, um, And Jesus answered and said to them, he's talking to his disciples, Take heed that no one deceives you. Amen. And see, why did he say that? It's because people are going to come and try to influence you to do things that is not godly. And you have to be very careful mm -hmm. who you pick your friends and everything. Because mm -hmm. you remember the last video we talked about, um, show me your friends and I'll show you your character. Yes. And a lot of people out here that are enticing or being uh, uh, led by this type of music and stuff, they think that it's okay when it's really not because all of them think that they're going to go to heaven. I don't, you know, I personally can't, you know, say if they are or not, but I think they're not. That's me thinking now. I'm not, you know, I'm just saying, I'm putting that clause in there. That's me thinking because why would you uh, desecrate Jesus uh, on live TV or do the things that you're doing and in your heart that you say you believe God when you get up there and get a Grammy you say I want to thank God but okay what kind of God are you thanking you're not thanking the truthful the original the king of king and the lord of lords you're not thanking him you're thanking the little g because that type of music and that type of uh, behavior is not uh, uplifting or edifying the God the Christ and then the title, the title was, what was it? Uh, mocking Jesus. So, yeah, celebrities, celebrities mocking, Jesus. mocking Jesus. Jesus. Jesus can't be mocked, exactly. first of all. Right. Jesus can't be mocked. He, mock, he's going to always have the last say yep. because he got principles. And if they're not abiding by those principles, then he going to have the last say. Amen. So, so, Amen. so they already <laughs> deceive themselves thinking they mocking Jesus. Right, exactly. Amen. Watch this. It says, it would certainly be a surprise if you planted corn in the ground and a pumpkin came up. <laughs> it's a natural law to reap what we sow. It's true in other areas, too. If you gossip about your friends, you will lose their friendship. Mm -hmm. It's a law of life, both physical and spiritual, that you reap what you sow. Every action has results. If you plant to please your own desires, so to the flesh, you will reap a crop of sorrow and evil. Mm -hmm. If you plant to please God, you will reap joy and everlasting Amen. life. Amen. What kind of seeds are you planting? Amen. See, they planting seeds mm -hmm. that sow to the flesh, yes. and they're going to reap uh, the things of the flesh. The things of the flesh. Mm -hmm. So when they need Jesus, or uh, uh, how they uh, when they get the uh, when they pass on, mm -hmm. and then then the, the word God says that depart from me, I knew you not. Mm -hmm. And see, they gonna be disappointed because on earth they sold they they sold they sold for for fleshly, worldly, fame goods. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we just want to encourage y'all to be careful about what you listening to in your ear gate. Mm -hmm. That because music will soothe the soul too, because you have you have music that that uh, relates to the soul because it can make you emotional, it can make you happy, mm -hmm. it can make you sad, it can make you joyful mm -hmm. because it has a connection. That's why the angels sing to the Lord because when God blew breath in us. We have all the attributes of him. That's why God loves music. But you have to be cautious because there's great godly music out there that you can enjoy and, and uh, uh, listen to. Amen. Yeah, so don't be deceived. Don't be deceived because God is not mocked. Don't let nobody tell you different. Amen. Amen. I'm thank Pastor you. Robert. This is my lovely wife, Elder Tracy Carr. Gracious Father, we thank you for this time of sharing. Lord, we thank you for the youth, God. Yes. We cancel every demonic force that will try to uh, engage them or draw yes. them into a worldly atmosphere, yes, God. Lord. We ask, God, that their feet be planted on yes. solid ground, God, that it takes root in the Word of yes, God. God. In the name of the Jesus, name of God, Jesus. and we bless you and we thank you thank in you, Jesus' God. name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. <laughs>
What? <laughs>